Hey Belen, I'm Jose Zerluki. And I'm Alfredo Diaz, and welcome to this edition of WBLN. Senior cross country standout Adam Magulis made a big decision regarding his future. The college process for a student athlete is probably more challenging than that of a normal student. Adam says the college process was interesting and the choice was not difficult to make. The process was a long one. It took a few months of just narrowing down the schools, making sure I picked the right decision. But um, towards the end of the day, my gut told me it was the University of Florida and that's what I chose. His former teammates might have had an impact on his decision. Adam to uh, join his fellow or his former teammates uh, over at uh, UF, that's Javier Vento and uh, Aiden Villasuso, uh, is, is a big deal. For Adam, the commitment is a relief, giving purpose to his years of hard work. I've been running for a long, a long time. I think a lot of hard work went into this, so it feels great to be able to commit somewhere and make it feel like it was all worthwhile. And some advice I'd give to younger runners and anyone that's aspiring to run in college is cons consistency. You got to stay training every single day, um, no matter whether you're motivated or not. Adam Shirley is excited to run to the next part of his life. For WBLN, I'm Alfredo Diaz. As college campuses fully open up, recent alumni are adjusting to life after Berlin. With more on how the class of 2021 is adjusting, Santiago Riza has the story. Life outside our little Berlin bubble is very different from what we are used to. When we go off to college, we are introduced to an entirely new environment with lots of very different people and personalities. College is a lot different from Belen, given that in, in college you have so much more responsibility. You have no one to tell you what to do, no one to tell you what time to go to sleep, to go to class, to do your homework. In Belen, it's not like that. You have teachers constantly reminding you that you have a test next week or that you have homework to do. And you need to like learn how, you need to learn how to like adjust without like those constant voices telling you what to do. And I feel like that's like a really good part of like your maturation process. And I think Belen, I think Belen, you should like, be thankful that you have that Belen because it's not like that in college. Life outside Belen can be really different. So try to make the most of the moments that you have here. For WBLN, I am Santi Ariza. Kids 5 to 11 could get their first COVID-19 vaccine before the end of the month. Pfizer's applied for emergency use authorization for its vaccine for kids in that age group. So what are the top five things parents need to know? Number one, let's talk about timing. An FDA panel is scheduled to meet October 26th to go over the data. An approval could come at the end of October. Number two, there's a dosage difference. Kids in the age group would likely get one third of the dose adults and teens get. Number three, experts say the side effects are similar to what happens to adults, a sore arm, tiredness, or headaches. Number four, the White House says it's ready to roll with supply for pediatrician offices and community sites, along with pharmacies and maybe even some schools. Number five, could more states require COVID-19 vaccines for students? The U.S. Surgeon General thinks so. I think part of the reason you're going to see more states likely move in that direction post-authorization is because we all want our kids to go back to school, to be able to stay in school, and to be safe. What's up, Wolverines? I'm Hugo Dorda, and here's your sports for today. The varsity football team will be taking on Somerset Academy tonight at 7.30. Your varsity cross-country team will be competing in the St. Thomas University Bobcat Catholic Invitational tomorrow. Good luck, Wolverines. Now on to the pros. The Los Angeles Rams took on the Seattle Seahawks yesterday, winning 20, the Rams winning 26-17. Leading the Rams was veteran quarterback Matt Stafford who completed 25 of 37 passes for, for 365 yards. October baseball is in full swing. Last night, the Chicago White Sox took on the Houston Astros yesterday, and the Astros won 6-1. The Tampa Bay Rays took on the Boston Red Sox, the Rays winning 5-0. As the NBA preseason gets underway, the Heat advanced to 2-0. They took on the Houston Rockets and won 113-106, led by Tyler Hero with 24 points. That's all for sports. I'll go back to the guys at the desk. Thanks, Hugo. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And remember to stay safe and stay golden, Wolverines.